guys, as we move into a new year and I continue to work and grow on what I started with this channel last year, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to sort of introduce this idea I came up with a while ago. It's something that I've been working on in the background and try to figure out how and if it might be possible to achieve. I'm also going to give a bit of my story. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I grew up on a little island in the Indian Ocean called Bali. I grew up surfing and enjoying all the wonders the ocean has to offer and I've always had a passion for it. And so earlier this year, I moved to Queensland, Australia to begin studying at university at JCU. I currently do a Bachelor of Marine Biology and for those of you who don't know, there is no surfing within 15 hours of here. And so unfortunately, I had to look for something new to, to do because surfing was a large part of my life, but unfortunately I can't do it here. And so a friend of mine that I met at the university introduced me to free diving and spearfishing about the middle of this year. And safe to say, it has become a large part of my life. And not only does it sort of bring me a peace of mind, it's at a completely different world down there. And it's something that I think is absolutely astonishing. And so it's definitely become a large part of what I do and enjoy. And I thought, what if I was to put myself to the challenge to sort of get out there and see everything that Great Barrier Reef has to offer. And so I thought, what if I try to be the first person, or I'm not sure if someone has done it before, but to try and free dive all 3,000 reefs on the Great Barrier Reef and all the other ones that there are that I haven't even been labeled and named yet. And so I know it probably isn't necessarily gonna be easy, but it's something that I think will really get, will, will allow me to sort of experience all the wonders that this place has to offer. And it's something that I really enjoy and making these little sort of videos I really enjoy as well. So I thought if I would be able to document and share with you guys what I experience and along the way just, you know, raise awareness, um, promote sustainability and stuff like that, it would be something that I think would be amazing. And in a couple of years down the track, I could look at it and I might have dived a couple hundred reefs, 500 reefs, a thousand reefs, and um, who knows where I'll be. And hopefully you guys stick around to see what happens. And so, in this video, we're going back to where it all began for me. It started at Keeper Reef. This reef was the first one I'd ever dived at, and the moment I jumped in the water, it was absolutely astonishing. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into Keeper Reef. Early morning troll. The tears hasn't got anything too big, but fish on. And hopefully it's bait. That's what we're hoping for. Oh, it's a long fin. Long fin. No. Yeah. This is the best, one of the best eating fish in my opinion. Okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. Sack, 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 sack. Sack, sack, sack. Oh! Yes! Oh! She's a beauty! Alright. What we come out here for, that is a nice tuna. Have a look at him. On the Halco, six meter diver. Honestly, We've been using them recently and you never know what you're gonna catch. Like we've got GTs, that on it. We're so happy. They're doing us some good. Alright, so after a couple amazing drops on this bommie, we managed to land some massive trout. And halfway down, I see a big Spanish come past. I ended up shooting it, but the speed didn't go all the way through. I ended up stoning it, and it sank down to 27 meters of water just off the side of the bommie that we were diving at. And this is me diving down to try to retrieve the fish. About 10 meters off the bottom, I run out of line, and I just had to detach my float and everything. 
and then you see I have to do a second dive, swimming down. I was already at this point completely out of breath and I put a second shot in the fish like that, then pulled him out of the rock and after about five, 10 meters of pulling him up, I just realized that I can't do it and just my instinct kicked in. I just dropped the gun, dropped the fish, just kicked, kicked as hard as I could and I thought I was just gonna lose it at that point. I was completely out of breath. You can see the bubbles. And then from Diaz's perspective, you can just see that I'm just fluttering my arms, just trying to get up there as fast as I can. Mask fell off, everything was coming off. Mm -hmm. And I just got up, took a big breath and I was just honestly happy to be alive. And you can see I was honestly struggling pretty bad. And um, it was just crazy. At this point, I was just up there with Matthias, making sure I was all right. And then moments later, Matthias takes his dive. He gets down there and literally just in the background, you can see a big bull shark right there, moments away from the fish. If it wasn't for that perfect timing, would have lost my gun, the fish, everything. Luckily he wasn't aggressive, just went away straight away. Matthias pulled the gun up and then I met him about five meters off the surface. I was still completely out of breath. I was just recovering and um, you can see me sort of doing some weird stuff there, but I tried to grab the gun off him so that he could make it to the surface first. And pulling this fish up, we, we did it together. Teamwork made it happen. And honestly, we were just so glad nothing went wrong and pushed ourselves pretty hard. Never, di never dived 27 meters before, but um, what a great fish and just glad that it all worked out well. So yeah. I got to 26, shot it, and I had to drop everything, and I thought I was gonna die. I nearly. I, I recorded so everything. close. I recorded how you dropped the line. Alright, big shark mackerel. Not necessarily the target, but um, we're gonna eat it for dinner and lunch while we're out here on the ocean, so it's gonna be a good feed. Have a look at this guy. I think that's a new PB for me, and um, look, I'm pretty happy. I mean, we had Spanish mackerel on that dive. Shark mackerel, big trouts, big trouts. Ooh. And Romeo sleeping like always. All right, Matthias has just caught a red throat. 12, 13. Didn't expect one of these guys on the, on the bait. I'm gonna release this guy. Don't need him. Let him fight another day. Yeah, it's a trout. Yeah, she's a trout. Have a look at that. Matias said it was a trout, Ooh. and it is a trout. Look at the colors on him. We're just cooking up the mackie. Have a look at that. Mm. Now it's you know, the trout and the burner. It's been a pretty good day. So, I mean. Keeper reef, the first reef that we ever went to. We burnt the food a bit, but regardless, wrap, red sanger. Matthias is on for something big. Is it, if it's not a shark, it's red emperor. He's got a, whoa, what is it? He's got a horse on. Oh, it's a trout. No? No, it's a Trevor. Oh, and there's a shark right there following it. Oh no, that's a remora. Ah, Mio. What do you see? Oh my God! Uh, the shark. <laughs> the shark beat him up. We had to pay some taxes in here. <sighs> yep, the tax man came. Took this guy. Poor guy. We would have released him as well. Oh. Dad's dropped it on a nice little mark. Pulled up a trouty, we'll put him back. We don't need the little ones. Let them live another day. He's probably just legal, but no need to keep him. 
Watch out, Dad! He's gonna spine you. Nice. Oh, goodbye, Trouty. Matthias has got an awesome-looking fish on right now, and I'm getting bites right now on my rod. Oh, double hookup! Double hookup! That's what we like to see. Have you lost him? Dad, you're stuck on the you're stuck on the ladder. You're gonna cut your line. Oh, what is that coming in from the depths? Cold trout. Coral trout? I'm calling yeah. coral trout. <sighs> Whoa! Oh. Big trout! Yo! She's a monster! <laughs> Romeo! Dad got little fish <laughs> and Matthias got that. That is a stonking trout. Damn! Matthias has been on with the fish today. I mean, all of us have. That is a big trout. Probably 55, yeah, maybe even pushing 60 centimeters. Hopefully. Nice trout. Esky, looking good. And you know, this is it. Keeper Reef, she's a keeper. And uh, it doesn't get better than this reef, I reckon. My baby mama know how to take care of me Give my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you Miss that smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while But it's your style, so something must be up keeping you down You a queen that must be heaven sent Pray my soul, I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt Honestly, I'm used to throwing wishes in a well My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail Actions speak louder than words And that's a lesson that I learned all by myself Alright, afternoon troll Romeo is hooked on in the middle of oh, winding the rod in It's got some decent size On the Halco, two meter diver oh. Bro, how did you foul hook that fish? Oh my god, that's a that, that is a foul hook and a half. You literally got him in the back. Yeah. It's not even Why are you doing mouth. It? It's not near his mouth. Oh, no no wonder it gave up fighting. Yo. Is it a Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, it's Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanish. Alright guys, Spanish. Yeah, he's just beetle. That's a nice size Spanish. Wow. Foul hooked. Has anyone ever seen a foul hook like that? Straight through the back. Look how close it was to coming out. Oh, it was close. All right, foul hooked him. Uh, it's a good eating fish, we'll keep him. All right. Hot. go two meter diver. Second Spanish of the afternoon. Caught by. Caught by Romeo. Didn't even know he had it on. Once again. Wow, the sky looks beautiful. End of the day, everyone's pretty tired. Cheers, sleeping. <laughs> Romeo slept all day, so he's got, <laughs> he's got energy now. <laughs> and um, yeah, nah, we had an amazing day and best way we could have had the start to my sort of mission for 2021 to start the reef thing. And um, first reef ticked off. It started all here at Keeper Reef earlier this year. It was the first reef I dived and it was just amazing. Like I fell in love with it the moment I jumped in the water. And this trip has just blown me away because it's been the best trip we've had here. Like we've never had a day where we've gotten so many fish at Keeper. We've usually gone to Lucinda and stuff. So I'm blown away and I just love it. I love it so much out here. Good morning. I'm absolutely knackered. Everyone's still asleep. A bit more choppy this morning. Still a bit of wind. The sun's just rising now. Doing some bottom 
drops. Dad just got a trout. Come on, or something. Hopefully, it's nice. Red, that'd be it. That'd make the dream if we got a red keeper. I think it's another trout. We've got some color. Oh, don't be a sucker fish. Oh, big trout. Woo hoo hoo. Big trout. Have a look at it. Oh, I can't get his tail. Have a look at that trout. Wow. Jesus. Two trout in two minutes. He's probably 55, 60. Beautiful fish. Have a look at him. Keen. Alright, we're on the spot. for this trip last one of 2020 but we ended well Matias got a tusky on his last dive and um, I was looking for a crayfish but couldn't find anything at all and we were hoping for another mackerel but they weren't really coming too close and the burly wasn't working so gonna have to improve for next time but we did get what we wanted and we're happy all right thanks guys for tuning in if you enjoyed the video that is one reef of the next 3,000 and more that we're I'm hoping to do so Honestly, some big things happening and I can't wait to see what happens. So if you enjoyed, all the support means so much and thank you guys anyways for what you do. So see you in the next video.